Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Samantha Wiesna. And I'm Riley Grant. I'm so excited that it's our last full day of school, but at the same time, it'll be hard to say goodbye. I know. I feel the same way. And coming up on today's show, we have a story about everyone who's graduating this Sunday. Plus, we have info on one hot class you can sign up for. All that and much more because GTV News starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Geneva. Here are your morning announcements for Monday, May 22nd, 2017. For all seniors, this week is our last week here at Geneva High School, and in five days we will be walking across the stage to get that diploma. In order to make sure that this day goes as smooth as possible, please mark your calendars for the graduation rehearsal this Friday, May 26th. Also, if you have not yet picked up your cap and gown, you can do so this Friday. The last Triumph Music Honor Society meeting of the school year is today after school in the choir room. All current and aspiring members are invited to come for information on next year's membership requirements and to vote for next year's junior officers. Now, why is it getting so hot in here? Maybe, Sam, it's because we have a group of students in studio who are a part of a hot career path. Let's toss it over to Jacob Miller for the interview. Jacob? Thanks, guys, and I'm here with Nick and Matt from the Fox Valley Career Fire and Science program. And guys, what exactly do you do at this program? Well, it's a military-based class, so we have all the rank structure from private all the way up to chief. Um, we have a training site that's not too far away from where we're located. We walk down there. We have a, like a makeshift house where we can uh, perform searches, throw ladders up on them. We have a whole bunch of engines and trucks. We pull the the hose line, attach it to a hydrant, and uh, either and just do whatever scenario our chief gives us. That sounds incredible. And how can new students get involved with this program? New students can get involved by talking to any of your counselors. And you would need to find room in your schedule because it takes up three periods of the day. And what other experiences have you gained from doing this program? Um, if you really you like being like the idea of being a firefighter well this, this class is for you uh, there's a lot of kids that do go into the military out of this program um, it is a college course so it's through a bonzi if you sign up you can get dual credit which helps a lot when it comes to taking your college courses um, and all that good stuff so it, it's it benefits a lot if you just like if you just like the idea of helping people or you just like being a good Samaritan and stuff like that, then this is also a good class for you. That is so awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming down. Back to the desk. Thanks, Jacob. That class seems so interesting. I agree, and it's so awesome that they get to start working towards their career path so early. You know, in just six short days, we'll be out of GHS for good. And I have to say, I think I'm going to miss a little more than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> Me too. And GTV reporter Eliza Peters has the full list of things that seniors will be missing. The seniors only have about a week left of high school, so I decided to hit the halls and see what they're going to miss the most. I just kind of miss the closeness of everybody. It's like a really good community feel with the, like among all the students and everything. I'm going to miss seeing my friends every day, definitely, and having them like be so close to me. Probably my friends and some of the teachers. The people, the teachers, the community. This is going to sound sappy, but I'm probably going to miss like just like everyone here, like my friends and everything, because like, it's such a great community. Probably just seeing my friends every day. You know, we're all going off to college next year and um, definitely miss more of the study hall teacher. I am going to miss Dave Carly the most. I'm going to miss playing football and baseball the most. Oh, after much thought and long nights of thinking of it, I think I'm really going to miss the EE bathroom. 
It's just a place full of magic and wonders. You never really know what you're going to find in there. What's been your favorite high school memory? Probably just being on a couple sports teams, football and lacrosse. Just the memories with those guys are something I'll remember forever. Um, freshman year, I did the corn eating contest. That's definitely my favorite memory. Being a part of the literary magazine. Being a senior PE leader for sophomores. The football games were just great. Like Everyone coming out, just hanging out, having a good time. I think senior prom this past week when, weekend was actually my favorite just because it's kind of the last thing my friends and I are going to get to do together. Getting parking violations, that's the best part. Um, playing under the best coach in GMA history, Brad Wendell. When Nate Navigato led the Vikings boys basketball team down to state to a fourth place finish, I mean, he's the GOAT. It was great weekend, great team. Wow, it looks like they've had a great four years here. For GTV News, I'm Eliza Peters. You know, that video got me thinking. I think I'm going to miss the studio the most. To be honest, I think I'm going to miss the Viking vendor the most. And now for some news outside the halls. The FBI is currently helping to evaluate whether the fatal stabbing by a white student of a black student visiting the University of Maryland will be prosecuted as a hate crime. Richard Wilbur Collins was with two friends on the campus where he was approached by a man and stabbed on Saturday morning. On Sunday, a group of Notre Dame graduates walked out of the graduation ceremony in protest against Vice President Mike Pence. Pence delivered the commencement speech after he had received an honorary degree from the university. The group of students walked out of the ceremony as Pence took the podium and they held an alternative graduation ceremony outside the Notre Dame Stadium. The senior bike ride will be taking place this Saturday. The send-off will be at 10 a.m. and they'll be leaving from the Diagonal Drive and heading to Old Town in Wasco for lunch. There is a boys wrestling open mat today after school. Make sure you attend if you're interested in wrestling for GHS. This weekend was a good weekend for both the boys and the girls track and field teams. The boys competed in the IHSA sectional meet at Hoffman Estates. Despite less than ideal weather, they competed well and placed third as a team. The boys were led by several sectional champions. The 4x8 relay of Brian Cool, Scott Krieger, Cole Montgomery, and Tyler Dow. Josh Rogers in the 3200 meter run, Brian Cool in the 800 meter run, and Tyler Dow in the 1600 meter run. And the girls were at state this past weekend and also had some great performances amongst the best in the entire state. Sophia McDonald had an APR in the 3200 meter run to place 13th. Kristen Higgins jumped well to clear 5 feet and 3 inches and placed 8th, earning an all-state honors for the second year in a row. Also, Georgia Reed raced her way to 6th place finish in the 300 meter hurdles, also earning all-state honors for the second year in a row. And now here's three to know before we go. Seniors, enjoy your last full day of high school ever. There will be a girls swim meeting this Wednesday after school. And seniors, remember that this Friday is the senior breakfast and graduation rehearsal. That's all the news we have for you today, Geneva. I'm Samantha Wiesnath. And I'm Mallory Grant. Have a magnificent Monday.